Welcome to another Farm Server training video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a seed plan in Farm Server. From the main dashboard, click on the seed plan button along the left side of the screen. This takes you into the hybrid selection portion of the seed plan. Along the right side of the screen, you can select the crop type and the filtering options that you'd like in order to narrow down your search for the products. At the top of the screen, you can see the number of products that currently fit the filters that you have selected. You can select the maturity range that you're looking for, the region, the technology preference, and also the management style and practices that you're using on your farm. This shows that we have 18 products that match this set of filters. From this, you can select the products that you'd like to place on your field. You can do this for corn, soybeans, wheat, and also cover crops. For soybeans, we're going to select the maturity range, select our technology preference, and we're going to go ahead and add a couple more soybean varieties to the list. The list along the left side of the screen is the number of products that you currently have that you're going to place on your field to plant for the following year. Once you have the list of products that you'd like, click Done. This takes you into the product placement portion of the seed plan. Now that you have your products selected, along the left side of the screen, select the product that you'd like to place on your field. Using the product information and the average yield for that field, you can designate whether that be a great, good, or poor match for the field. This is based off the average yield that you either designate by selecting the yield range, the NCCPI rating, which is the soil productivity level of that soil, or if you have yield data present in Farm Server, it will pull the average yield for that field over the past five years. By selecting a different yield range, you will see the match quality change. Once you find the field that you'd like to place that product on, you can select the checkbox to the left of the field name. Click Assign Seed to Fields. We automatically assign the seeding population based on the information coming from the product sheet available for that hybrid. You can change this and it will recalculate the number of units needed to plant this field at 32,000 seeds per acre. If you'd like to do a split hybrid application, you can select another product, assign it to the same field, and again, it's going to automatically populate this at 32,000 seeds per acre. 50% of the field will take 13 units of the 5765 AMXT as well as the 6368SX. However, if you'd like to change the product that you've applied to a field, or you're unhappy with your selection, you can click the X along the right side of the screen and confirm that you'd like to remove that product from the field. Assigning products is the same process for soybeans. Select the product that you'd like to place on the field and will give you a match quality based on the yield range that you either designate, NCCPI rating, or the average yield from data that you have in Farm Server. Select the fields that you'd like to apply that product to. Click Assign Seed to Fields. By selecting the drop down box at the top, you can look at the, only the fields that you've already assigned a product to, or you can view all the fields that are still unassigned a product. Once you have products assigned to all of your fields, you can select all and create a go to field report as well as a summary report. These reports will be automatically be downloaded in PDF form to your desktop. The go to field report shows you the field boundary of the field that you're going to with that product, the operation information as well as the acres that you're going to be planting, and the product and units that need to go to that field. We've left the room for you to add in the planting date as well as notes for that field with the planting information. These reports are the same for corn as well as soybeans. Summary reports generate two different types of reports. One of them is a summary by hybrid. For corn, you have the 6368SX with product information as well as the fields that you're going to be planting that product on. The total number of units that you'll need is rounded by product and not by field. Therefore, you'll need 102 units of the 6368SX for the planting of your entire operation. Summary report is the same for soybeans. You have your product, 
you have the fields that you're planting it on, and the total number of units that you're going to need to order. The other type of summary is a summary by field report. This shows you each individual field that you'll be planting and the product that was assigned to it. It also shows you the number of units needed for each of those fields. If you have any other questions on how to create a seed plan in FarmServer, contact FarmServer support or email support at farmserver.com.